Hi friends, my name is Alyssa Elliott and I'm a member of Hopwood Christian Church and a student at Emmanuel Christian Seminary. The theme for this week is peace. Yes, really, peace. This year, it makes good sense to respond to peace with dry laughs and rhetorical questions. Dear peace, do you look at the news? Ah, peace, good to see you. Have you met my family? Hey, peace, are you completely out of touch with reality? The only observable peace from this year is that everything has fallen into pieces. When I first read the scriptures for this week, I had to laugh. If peace is some sort of stability or calm, where is it? Surely this theme would fit better back a few weeks ago when the psalmist wrote, righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Peace isn't even named in the scriptures this week. The historical peace in which these passages were written either came at the cost of conquest or was a complete sham. Then I realized. Peace is not necessarily defined by stable and calm. The political peace of David and the peace of Rome could only be maintained by a balance on a knife's edge. If anyone moved, spoke out, or challenged, it would be over. And when people moved, spoke out, and challenged, they came to swift ends. It was peace confined. The peace of God exists in the middle of has and will. It is a great and faithful potential. Peace is hearing the divine promises, I have been with you wherever you went, and the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and hope that they can be true. The peace of God is this great potential which is not confined to those days without strife. Between has and will lies is. The Lord is with you. Holy is his name. God's faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Here at the center between has and will, at the is, do we find the space to rest and to dance, to dream and to build. In the arms of the peace of God, we can dare to move or even just stop and breathe. Peace, a way station perhaps a rock of salvation in the midst of a relentless world. How will you live in that is this week? How will you move about in this center of peace? Will you finally give yourself permission to pause and breathe? Will you tie it about you like a tether as you walk headfirst into the chaos what we, that we call 2020? Or will you try with everything in you to hold on to its promise even if only for one minute. Perhaps this week, we can even dare to hope that the peace of God will join us here at the center of it all.